What's up guys, Tao here. Uh, welcome to another episode of graphics card testing. I did video regarding on two graphics cards before. One is EVGA uh, GDX 90 and the AMD uh, Radeon HD 5A70, which I have here right now. And after that, I did a video regarding on Hackintosh server build with the Intel i5 7400T, uh, which has the Intel uh, graphics, uh, Intel graphics card uh, 630. So that actually got me thinking, maybe I can use this AMD card together with the Intel 630, just to see how well uh, it perform in the Final Cut Pro, uh, particularly in exporting the file to uh, H.264. Um, if you guys are interested, stay with me. The main purpose of this video or this test really is to see uh, how influential of the Intel QuickSync uh, within the uh, Hackintosh, actually particularly within the Final Cut Pro. Um, there are a lot of uh, misconceptions and kind of a mystery about Intel QuickSync uh, on the Hackintosh. Uh, now this video is really kind of uh, myself, some DIY test, just to clarify some of the uh, mysteries here. Um, but no means this is a scientific test, it's just my home DIY. Uh, and also the hardware will be different between mine and yours, so the test may be different, uh, maybe completely different actually. So uh, this just a guideline. Now in terms of the test files, uh, I will be choosing uh, three files, or uh, three projects rather. Uh, one is the Bruce X 5K test file, uh, it's only about two seconds. And the second is a 1080p video, um, which is one of my projects uh, in my library right now. Uh, that's around about nine minutes, I think. And the third one is the 4K video footage, uh, actually shot on the iPhone 8 Plus. Uh, the length of that video run about three minutes. So uh, that's the three projects I've chosen uh, for the testing purpose. Uh, the next stage, I will be copying those uh, three projects onto a separate library, uh, let's call it test, and then I will uh, copy that entire test library onto the server just behind me there. So I can use those test library uh, just to compare the graphics card. Um, I will be putting this HD5870 uh, into the server so I can switch between the Intel 630 and uh, this uh, HD5870 and also I will be using two at the same time so that Intel 630 as internal graf graphics card this as a dedicated so just to see how the Intel QuickSync um, help on the export Alright guys, after hours of waiting, switching and testing, finally we have the results. Um, as you can see, um, the green color is the uh, Intel HD 630 alongside AMD Radeon uh, 5A70. Uh, that's where the quick sync shines. Um, look at the export time on the 4K video. Um, it's fantastic. Um, couldn't believe actually on the uh, my current workstation with the GTX 980. Uh, took 16 minutes um, that was kind of expected because I've done that before but it was shocked to see how much quicker um, the export time on the um, server setup with, with the Intel 630 plus the AMD card so that's where the Intel QuickSync come in um, and also on the Bruce X my personal opinion Bruce X 5k is not really kind of real life test but a lot of people use this so I'm just throwing in. Um, the export time is under a minute, so I'm happy with that. It's pretty good. Now, bear in mind, the AMD card is quite old, so I can achieve that kind of result. I am pretty surprised. And also on the 1080p video, the export time is also much, much better than any of those setup, to be honest. As you can see the result, um, Intel QuickSync does work. It actually works pretty well. Um, 
this actually uh, encouraged me uh, to change my current setup uh, just for uh, the sake of exporting time. So even on the 1080p video, um, so the export time is gonna cut short uh, dramatically. Uh, and also in the near future, I'm gonna do a lot of 4K editing. So the Intel QuickSync combination with the AMD card is gonna help tremendously in terms of exporting time. All right, that was some pretty interesting result. Uh, was that expected or were you shocked? Please leave a comment down below and tell me what you think. And if you have some other experience, and please leave a comment as well so we can share. Uh, now, honestly, I probably will change my current setup, uh, current, my current workstation setup. So I actually was thinking about the Intel A700K uh, together with the AMD card. Uh, since because the uh, Intel A7700K has the uh, Intel Graphics 630, so that will help the um, exporting tremendously according to this test. So yeah, if you guys have any opinions or experience, please let, let me know and that maybe help me uh, to build my decision as well. So yeah, now hopefully you guys enjoyed the video. Uh, if you did like the video, please uh, share it with others so uh, others may have may take benefit out of this. And uh, if you didn't like it, you know what to do. And please don't forget to subscribe to the channel and for the future video update. And um, yeah, see you guys in the next video. Subscribe.